What's going on guys? It's going to be a walk around on my 94EG hatch. As you can see, it's missing the bumper and headlights and even that little uh, hubcap right there. But I have all of that. I have the bumper in my extra room, headlights in the garage. Um, I have HIDs for them. All that type of stuff. But as you can see, it uh, is getting a lot of body work right now. When I got the car, all the paint was horrible. Clear coat was chipping everywhere. Dents, rust, you know, the whole deal going on there. Um, I redid most of the hood already. I just have to sand down a little bit more, as you can see this little spot right here. But everything's all primed and everything. I filled the window sprayer holes and the badge holes. Filled like four or five dents. <clears throat> Um, this whole side, except for the rear quarter, is sanded because I have to do rust repair. And on this side, just the fender is sanded because I haven't got to all this yet. As you can see, it does need some rust repair. That is the only rust on the car, though, this quarter. Oh, uh, actually, it's right here, too. And this quarter. Um, overall, it's a pretty clean car. I got it for a good price. Basically, just a project car to me. It's a B18, B1 swap out of a 93 Integra. Not Type R motor, just LS non VTEC. It is a 5 speed. Interior is okay, it's clean, but not the way I want it. I did go at the back, but I still have the seats, even though I'm not going to put them on because I cut off the seat bracket right there. But the car is going to be white, and I plan on building a white cage. Also, uh, maybe a couple weeks, I plan on building a floor back here. I just ordered a bunch of stuff to do it, waiting for another one to come in. Um, all like these weird designs right here on the door panels those are all going to be changed to white or maybe i might do that like that uh bride fabric it's pretty expensive but i don't know uh steering wheel is going to change energy uh quick release and do a white with black spokes i mean the wheels are going to change but i don't mind these for now i'll uh pop the hood really quick Oh yeah, it does have AC delete, although I don't like it. Uh, those switches are the horn and the fan, radiator fan. Type R formats, even though it's not a Type R. The AM air fuel ratio. Bunch of different random stuff. Actually, before I go to the hood, I'll show you the control arms and everything, because that was all redone too. When I first got the car, it had a horrible trailing arm bushing. I'll probably post a picture of what the old one looked like and the new one that I put in looked like. But yeah. Here is the engine. My shadow's in the way, but it's cool. Uh, it has a JDM, a password JDM intake. I have subs wired, as you can see. Um, Megan Racing headers, full of Pexi exhaust after that. Don't know what brand intake that is. It's definitely not stock. But yeah, like I said, B18B1 of a 93 Integra. Uh, it is OBD1. I don't think that really matters, but I guess. Uh, red valve cover, that'll be white. The whole engine bay is going to be tucked, and, well, I hope to tuck it, but I already tucked the headlight wires and everything, and all those are all gone. I know I have no headlights in right now, but those are the wires for the headlights. They're all down here and hidden. I plan on painting the bay uh, black. Um, there's not really much else to show. That's really about it. Like I said, that is my walk around. Stay tuned and subscribe. Just stay updated on my build. This will be a full build. I'll go in depth, in depth of everything I do, and I'll post full videos on the channel. Thanks a bunch for watching. And also I did change the door speakers, both of them, the back ones are deleted, I don't know why, I wish I had all four, but it's okay. But now I'm going to start it up so you guys can uh, hear it. It does idle very nice. It had idling problems before, but I fixed that all. <coughs> and I'd... I'd say it sounds pretty good. I'm not going to rev it because I have no one to hold the camera, but... I'm tired for my dog barking. He's literally ridiculous, but... The car does run pretty smooth. 
I don't know. I like it. It is my first car, and I did get it for pretty cheap, so it's a work in progress. Should be done, like, well, cosmetic-wise by next spring. And next winter, I plan on boosting it and all that, but money doesn't grow on trees, so, yeah.